All right, so before I even start the video, I just want to say that we do not have all of the details for the banner. We don't know the rates. Um, we also, you know, don't know if they're doing anything special with the banner, but we do have pretty good information for it. We know that all the collab heroes are going to be level 80 or fully awakened. We already know, you know, the loyalty points and stuff like that. And we also know all of the heroes. Now, if you take a good look at Arthur, there is a very, um, <laughs> there is a very, you know, big difference between when I recorded the previous video and now. So if you can tell the difference, let me know. But uh, yeah, there's a pretty big difference <laughs> from when I recorded it. So yeah, um, yeah, so Let's go ahead and let's just get into the video. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. Now, I know I recorded a video like, you know, about whenever I upload this, maybe an hour, hour, half ago, maybe even two hours ago. But I did want to make this video just in case you guys were thinking about summoning on the banner. If you're not sure about summoning and if you're just like iffy and all, you know, uh, don't know what to do. So basically, this banner is, I would say, it's it's good but i wouldn't give it anything else than good now the units themselves are actually you know very good they're pretty good units i would say they're actually not that bad the banner however if you're thinking about summoning on it it is a 300 and 600 you know stat banner so you get a random guaranteed ssr hero at 300 gems and then at 600 gems you do get to choose one of the collab heroes again they all come level 80 and six star awaken so even if it's not, you know, the craziest banner or you're saving, I would actually do at least 300 gems on this banner. I actually would. And the reason for that is if all the collab heroes are going to be leveled up and fully awakened, that is a very, very good deal. I'm not even going to lie. That's a very good deal. Now, I'm not a fan of 300 and 600, uh, you know, gem banners, but I will say they did this pretty good. They actually did this very good. So, yeah, if you're, you know... You know, you're like, oh, I don't know if I should. Just keep in mind that they are going to be, you know, level 80 you are and fully awakened. They may never come back and you don't have to waste any materials on them. So keep that in mind. But yeah, let's move on to the hero lineup. Now, like I said before, very, very big difference between the, uh, you know, between the Arthur, the Arthur from last video and this video. Yeah, he's blue. So they did actually change green Arthur to blue Arthur. I I don't know why. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know why they did it, but they did. They changed him to Blue Arthur. Um, maybe they just, maybe they just thought it was, I, I don't know, but too early to have Green Arthur on another banner. Maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is weird because this Blue Arthur, right? I believe he is the one on Merlin's banner right now. No, he's not. So that's probably why they changed it because the one on Merlin's banner is Green Arthur, right? I believe. I, if I'm wrong, let, just let me know in the comments. But I think it is Green Arthur that is on Merlin's banner. Um, so they probably changed it because he's on air now. So it's like, eh, putting a unit that's on air now is kind of, you know, not the greatest idea to do, but... It's fine. I honestly think that this change isn't that big. That big. But, um, yeah. So, you guys can see they're going to have increased drop rates. We don't know what the percentage of the four heroes and then the rest of the unfeatured SSRs are. But you can almost pretty much... I don't want to say, you know, confirm or guarantee. But they might be at 0.25%. If they are at 0.5%, that'd be... That'd be insane. That'd be really good. That would actually be very, very good. But um, it is yet to be seen. So we'll see. We will see. But yeah, so there are, you know, all in all, there is what? 4, 8, 12, 13, 14 characters on this banner. So it's not, you know, a very large lineup of SSRs, but it is a pretty decent amount. And I actually would say that this banner is actually better than than the Ray Zero collab and like it's actually way better than the banner um Ray Zero collab right so if we go ahead and take a look at the Ray Zero collab banner their banner sucks like their banner is actually shit like it's just no contest right so the percentage is 0.25 percent for you know the four heroes and then 0.2 percent for the rest of them which could be the case for this banner as well in fact I'm almost certain it will be but the difference the big 
difference is the fact that, you know, not only is, you know, 300, 600 is the same, but you get to choose one fully awakened level 80 on this banner. So unlike the Ray Zero collab where it's just, you know, okay, you choose one, you got to work on them, blah, blah, blah. So you got to work on all four of these units, waste and SSR pendants and, um, you know, materials. You can literally just get them level 80 and six star awakened. I think that's the biggest thing about this banner too. Um, so yeah, these guys don't come six star awakened or uh, level 80. They are base level, right? Level one SSR. However, I think there's a good chance we could actually get this banner buffed on global. I'm really hoping, but um, yeah, but that remains to be seen. But this banner is not that good. It's really terrible. It's a terrible banner. Whereas this banner, you have a really good selection of SSR heroes actually, because you got Blue Demon Melly, who's on a you know he's not really that relevant, but he is a very good farming unit for new players. If you decide to play the game because of the collab, you get him. Very good farming unit. Then you got Green Fighter Deanne, who's a very good PvP unit, very tanky, very good um defense type unit in the game. Um, Blue Bond, not that good. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, Blue Elizabeth, uh, no. Blue Elizabeth and Hulk, mm, yeah. Green Eskinor, very very good, very good. And I actually would say Blue Arthur can still be useful in PvP. He's a very good crit unit. Um, he just you know. I don't want to say he's aged, but I mean, there's a there's other units that just do it better than him, right? Uh, that's just it's point blank simple. Just other units that do it better than him, but he's still pretty decent, pretty decent choice. Um, red Merlin, eh? Green Merlin kind of you know replaced all the Merlins in the game, but she's good for freezing. I mean, you know, she could be a very good association link for the Escanors. She is a very good association link for all the Escanors. So there you go. Um, Green King, you can use in the Grey Demon Raid if you do not have anyone, you know, really, really good for it. And then Blue Gother is I. Right. So all in all, I do think the lineup is better than the Ray Zero. Like, it's very, very much better than the uh, lineup for Ray Zero. However, it's not the best and it's not the worst, right? Because Ray Zero, this is like bottom of the barrel SSRs, like bottom of the barrel. Um, you know, you get these units and they're just like, Ugh. but these units are useful. These units, I would, I would argue they all have usefulness except for maybe, maybe Blue Gother, uh, Blue Elizabeth and Hawk, maybe like Red Merlin too. But otherwise, every single one of these units pretty much have a very good use um you can use these two in red demon hell you can use um Escanor for the gray demon you can use them in pve content even for uh, pvp in the lower ranks merlin he really she doesn't really have a that good of a place king is good for gray demon as well um the blue gother again not green gother exists red gother exists come on now uh, <laughs> but yeah so there you go also, we're going to be having tickets for this banner as well, like every other, you know, special banner. Tickets and diamonds, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I would say that this banner, you actually should summon on it because of this right here. It's very important that you guys take advantage of any banner, not just this one, but any banner that has heroes completely maxed out because it's just going to save you a lot of time and resources. If we take a look at... Um, I was going to say Bond for some reason. Uh, well, we can't really look at it. But if we just take a look at, you know, Zelda's and Chandler's banner. Actually, I think I might have it in my photos. Give me one second. I think I might actually have it. Uh, is it this one? Uh, nope. That is just <laughs> that is my, uh, what's the name? Where is the banner at? That is not it either. Okay, give me one second. I should be able to find it. Just give me one second. Oh, right, here it is. Jesus. All right, so if we take a look at you know, Zeldris' banner, it's not really fair to compare the collab banner and a festival banner, but even they don't come maxed out fully awakened, right? So that is very important. Plus, the you know, this, this banner right here is limited. So keep that in mind. It is very limited. We don't ever know if they'll come back. So you want to take advantage of it if you can. But um, yeah, like otherwise, this banner is good. It is good. That's like i'm yeah that's it that's all i can really give it it's good man it is good the characters are very nice i think they're really good for what you know what it's worth i think mike again probably the most uh i would say like the least impressive out of them all but we'll see in game how he performs right 
so yeah man we'll see we'll see but i think they're all really good i think they're all pretty good um this banner really good pretty good um but yeah good is all i'm gonna give it good is really all i'm gonna give it right um so yeah let me know if you in the comments if you guys think it's good as well let me know if you're gonna summon if this video helped you you know decide to summon uh leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already and as always i'll see you all next time